Hi, it's Carolyn here from Absolute Care Health Clinic. I'm a trichologist and today I want to talk to you about minoxidil. Now, I come across um, clients who have done a lot of research online or been to uh, other hair uh, places and they've got a very um, misconstrued understanding of what minoxidil actually is. So I just want to clear that up for you today. Now, minoxidil was around about 16 years ago. That's when it became a topical, I mean topical meaning to apply to the top of the scalp. Prior to that, it was actually a tablet. So minoxidil was a blood pressure tablet. So they found that the people taking the blood pressure tablet were having some hair regrowth in the cases of male and female panthenia. So what this means is it was actually stopping the constriction of the blood around the hair bowl. So you may or may not know that DHT, dehydrotestosterone, is what is responsible for male and female pattern thinning. So what we have here is a picture of the hair bulb, and it's going to show you what minoxidil actually does do and then what it does not do. So this is the surface of the scalp. So when you take minoxidil internally, it comes in through the body, but it's not that effective. So what they made it was a topical, so it is a powder that's distributed in a liquid, which is normally propylene glycol and also a percentages of alcohol. So what they do is apply it to the top of the scalp, they break through the surface protective barrier of the scalp to try and get the minoxidil down to where the blood supply is. Now DHT, it builds up to your androgen receptor. Your androgen is your growing hair. Most people have a hair cycle problem anyway, and then you've got this DHT binding to the androgen receptors. Now what it does is it cuts off the blood supply. So you have normal growing hairs, but over time, through their hair cycle, they shrink. So that's why we call it female pattern thinning. And male pattern thinning, it's a thinning. It's not hair loss, so you've got to remember that as well. It's a thinning, not hair loss. So what the minoxidil does is it stops the constriction of the DHT. So therefore, over time, it can allow the hair to go back the other way. However, the DHT is in your body. You were born with it. We all have it. It's just what it decides to do at a certain stage in life. There's three causes of the DHT during this. One is hereditary. Two is hormonal. Three, these days, is environmental because we're exposed to so many different synthetic hormones as well. So wherever the DHT has come from, it's doing what it's doing to your hair bowl. So if you're using minoxidil to stop the constriction of the DHT, it's like a leaky bucket. If you don't actually block the DHT, stop the DHT from binding whilst you're trying to move it away, can you see you're going to go nowhere? So online, you'll read the warnings. If you stop using minoxidil, your hair will fall out. Well, I wonder what is in the minoxidil that you're using and are you doing any DHT blocking? On top of that, have you had a proper diagnosis? Who told you that you've got male or female pattern thinning? What's wrong with your hair cycle? So all these things are very, very, very important to find out. So get professional advice first. Now DHT blocking, I go in through the blood supply, through the mouth, naturally. I'm a natural therapist. If you go and use a drug, and there's a lot of drugs that are out there that will do it, they cause systemic changes. Now anything in your body, systemically, can cause hair loss. So who do you have? female pattern thinning or male pattern thinning and you're going to use something that can cause systemic changes to stop it, what do you think the end result could be? It will affect your hair cycle. So we go in naturally. We block the DHT naturally in an alkaline environment in your body and we also do it topically with natural products. So minoxidil is not natural. Now I use the most, I suppose, um, natural form of minoxidil that you can as it is used with saw palmetto and it only has a tiny percentage of propylene glycol and I only use it if I have to, if I need to get that DHT away. We try all the natural approaches but it is the most effective but everything else we do is natural. So remember if you're using something that is quite chemical on your scalp it's affecting your skin in your body and on the top. So I hope that helps to clear up just a few things about female pattern thinning and about minoxidil and what you must do is always block the DHT in a natural way here before you use minoxidil on its own. Then when you stop minoxidil, you're not going to lose the effect. Now I also find that most people are prescribed one mil of minoxidil per day or per application. 
If you would clean the scalp correctly, open the follicle and channel down, you only need to use probably half a mil and only every time you wash your hair. So therefore you don't need to use it as much. So there's a lot of different things there about minoxidil that I hope you've learned. So again, my name's Carolyn. I'm a trichologist, which is a hair specialist here at Absolute Hair Health Clinic. I look forward to your comments to this video.